27th, uh, 2013, and we are going to visit uh, Emily Smith studio. She's welcoming us today, and we start with an installation. So, hello, Emily. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. I see amazing new stuff here. <laughs> yeah. So, so I see installation, uh, panels, and little... Sculptures. Yeah, sculptures. <laughs> okay, I turn around. So can you explain what is the purpose of your work? Sure. Um, the paintings and sculptures and installation all are from a very similar body of work um, about the overlap between nature and artifice and kind of how we construct nature um, and uh, the, um, like these for instance, the sculptures are sort of about city planning and um, this one actually is, a, is called terrarium. This is sort of about how we construct nature. but. Um, I am interested in uh, where these things overlap and how they intersect and where nature becomes artifice and vice versa. So you use almost the same material, so can you explain? For installation and sculpture? Yeah, for the installation. Yeah. Uh, there, I did an installation this year that involved this tree bark and I carried that over to this particular piece. I like to have sort of an overlap between my, my installation work and this. These little vitrines were sort of a way for me to create an installation on a very small scale um, so that, uh, you know, with an installation it's big and, you know, there's a lot of stuff at the end that's wasteful or recycled. and. Um, I wanted to do something that was small, that could last a long time, that potentially someone could buy, but really just so that I don't have to throw it all away at the end. I don't, I don't um, want to be wasteful, so um, these are a way for me to make installations on a smaller, smaller scale. Okay, can we take a look m uh, more specifically to this one? Sure. And you can explain this one. I love it because I think that all your work uh, Sculpture work is here. Yeah. So we have layers of ca cardboard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, this is this little tree here is a piece of um, well, it's actually something that you would hook into a drill to sand. It's like a sander bit. Um, but this one is really about um, well, it was coming out of this book that I've been reading by Jane Jacobs, who um, was very in influential in the uh, city planning um, field, and she sort of writes about how, like, where we build and why we build there, and just um, a lot of her book is about the, you know, architects who build, um, who who design and build cities um, the way they think they should be built, and they don't really go to the ground level and really figure out what um, a city needs. And there's a chapter in the book where she's trying to make a point about, you know, building in a spot that we love. And there's this family who, um, you know, they go to this one particular spot on a hill and they have a picnic. And they love that spot. They love the view from that spot. And they eventually buy the land and they decide to build a house on that spot. And then once they've built that house, they, they no longer have what they love about that property anymore. And, um, and I think that that's very, um, it's, it's a good story because it really makes sense with pretty much everything we build. And um, so that's what this one is. This is called A Room with a View. And that's, it's sort of based on that chapter of that book. Um, and, and a lot of these are, are sort of centered around that same idea. Okay. I decided with this one to keep it really two-dimensional. Um, 
in the past I've done, like if you look at these, these have a lot of the three-dimensional um, little sound objects on them. But with this new painting, I decided to do, um, to do no, no three-dimensional things. Um, I've been playing around with the 3D pieces for, for a couple of years now, and I just decided I wanted to challenge myself and, and do just the, um, just the two-dimensional stuff. Those are from uh, wh which year? Uh, these are last year, so it's, well, okay. 2011, 2012, something like that. Okay, this is on credit cards? No, no. these are bus, uh, metro cards, um, New York metro cards, actually. Okay. Um, they were for a show in New York, but um, I have been playing around with them um, since then. I have some that are sort of in the works, but um, they're metro cards. The new ones that I have are ones that say things like, um, uh, we'll help you reduce your carbon footprint by, you know, taking the bus and things like that. Um, so, and, kind of like and how did you get from there to there? Yeah. Um, well, this one I just really wanted to try um, to just stick to imagery that I could draw or paint rather than things that I could cut out or glue on. Um, I just haven't worked like this in a while and I figured it was a time to challenge myself. Um, and this painting feels very Los Angeles to me. Um, in the past, I've sort of worked with imagery from where I'm from in Minnesota to here in Los Angeles. And finally, this one is just images that I found here in LA. Um, I take a lot of photos while riding in the car um, or on the bus. And so this is sort of a collection of all the things that I've been looking at over the last four years since I've been here. Um, I feel like it's kind of a good culmination of all the work I've done. and. Um, yeah, just I wanted to play with perspective in a way um, that I hadn't done in a while because with the with the little three D elements, it's really easy to shift scale and perspective. But with um, just drawing, I really have to think it out and and um, and you know articulate every little thing instead of just gluing something um, on. I like the contrast yeah. of you know city spaces with. Um, you know, natural spaces, but um, with Los Angeles, I feel like it's very layered, and with this one, I decided I wanted to try my best to get all those layers into one painting, and um, you know, I feel like all the nature is either planted or it's fake. Um, you know, I have a cell phone tree in this painting, which is very Los Angeles. You don't find that. Well, at least you don't find palm tree cell phone towers very many other places in the world. Here it is. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I debated for a while as to whether I wanted to add this one, but um, I went for it. <laughs> just yeah, this is LA. Yeah, it right. is. It's yeah. so cheesy LA, though. Yeah. I just, I, it, I really struggled with whether to put it in or not, but I, I went for it, and I'm, I'm fine with that decision.